Hi, I'm Mark Shaw, Area Manager for Quateva AgriScience, and I'm here today to talk about dot control. You often hear people say that any spray is better than no spray in either reference to the size of the target weeds or in fact the product that they're using. And that's simply not true. What we're looking for here is that systemic action uh, that can be translocated through the plant and really kill those roots. So when investing in weed control, it's really important you maximise the benefits, not only to protect the instant investment there and the cost of the chemical and the application, but also in future productivity. So really, we're looking to safeguard that investment by getting down and killing from the root up. Docks become a problem when you can see them. When they're flowering, it's almost already too late. The best time to control docks is when they're at the optimum size. So we're looking for that rosette to be 15 to 25 centimetres across. What we're aiming for here is those leaves to soak up that chemical and pump it down into the root. If we go after flowering, the plant's no longer doing this, and so the chemical will sit in the leaf matter. You'll get what we would refer to as top kill, but you're going to get a lot less chemical making it down into the root, which is where it really needs to do the hard work. When considering products for dot control, it's important to understand the situation they're going to be used in first. If we're in a boom situation, then you'd be looking at dock star. If we're looking at spot spraying, there's graze on pro. And then for your land that's purely for cattle or sheep grazing, with a higher, a more broad weed spectrum, there's also forfant tea. When forage production is so important to your pasture-based livestock system, don't let it be threatened by docks that can be controlled as part of your on-farm weed control programme. 